Northern European native goat. We will start by having a look on both old and new photos of native goat in, um, in a few countries in Northern Europe. This first one is a photo from 1913 from Finland of a buck. And this of a female goat, also Finnish landrace goat. And one more of a Finnish landrace female goat. Pay notice to the smaller horns on the females compared to the very big ones at bucks. Some different photos of uh, native sheep of a more modern date here from Ottawa Vocational Institute from a Finnish land race goat farm and indoors from a goat farm and outdoors. We noticed it there in this herd there are several white ones and a few colored. And a black and white Finnish land race goat. And here you can see the very diverse um, herd, both in colors and marks. And here one, a little bit brownish, grayish, and uh, black and white and white. brownish and goats love to eat leaves from trees and bushes. Um, in Sweden there are three different types of native goats and uh, this I have just taken this photo so I don't exactly know what it is. You can see the three different Swedish uh, goats. Jöinge goat, Jämtlands goat and a Lapish goat. And uh, in Norway they are two different types. Uh, I have only photos here of the Norwegian milk goat. And there are a lot of them in Norway. And this is from Herdalseta, which is a part of UNESCO World Heritage site and uh, up in the mountains where they were milking uh, goats. And you will now have a look on different indoor photos of the milk farm. So the goats are arriving to get milk. They will get some um, something to eat as well. And each of them have their own place. They're jumping up, ready for starting to milk the goats. And here the heads are to the other side where they get some fodder. And when it's ready, they jump down the milking station. And uh, in Estonia, the Estonian landrace goat or native goat, it's not recognized as a breed and it doesn't have any a conservation program either, but let's have a look on some few old photos first. Uh, this one is most likely not from Estonia. It may be, um, it may be that the author who was painting this didn't or didn't knew goats or took a model of some other goats from some other countries because these do, do not definitely look as native goats. Source another one and this goat looks then more like a buck of a native land race. And here actually is also a small goat in the middle of this old drawing. And here in the front there are a few goats, not so well, um, yeah, visible, but they are there. Again, on the, this kind of painting, uh, very um, small there in the front. 
a little bit closer up of a later date of goats. And here to the left, uh, you can see a dark colored goat with a little bit white in the face. Again, very long distance, some goats out on the pasture. And then a photo, this is from the Russian side, from Ivan Gorod. And this is from central Estonia, some goats. Now we come to newer ones. So this photo I took once at Ruchno Island, and this may be Sane goat, so it's not necessarily native goat, because, and this was also not from Estonia, it was brought from Latvia to the island of that goat. Estonian native goat at a museum in South Estonia. This very rare sight and maybe I was the last one who saw these before these big herds of native goats died out. If I remember correctly I took this photo in 2007 and it was in central Estonia in Järvama and uh, there was a large herd of goats uh, moving in the forest and with them were three dogs. You can see one of the dogs here uh, in the right down corner. And uh, I stopped in the next village and asked people that if they knew about this big herd that perhaps they have just been escaping from at home. And I was told that it's an old woman who are keeping this goat and um, the goats are moving freely in the forest, eating daytime together with some dogs. So they were totally independent and only shepherded by the dogs. And some native goats, again. Also this one. Native goats from Sarem Island, and here you can see brown colored goat. Same goats as the former picture. Brown colored and grayish black colored native goat. Two photos from Soma area of goats, maybe native goats. Yeah, you can see them. And a few photos also from Russia. This is native goat in Pocha in Kenyarvi National Park. And special for this village was that they didn't have here sheep that much, but uh, they had a lot of goat. And there was a river in the middle of the village and uh, there was a walking bridge crossing this big river and the sheep, uh, some were kept on one side and some on the other side, but the goats, they did also cross this walking bridge. Black one. And some white ones. Yeah, there was one jumping with a big other grazing alongside the river. In YouTube, you will find four videos named Pocha, one, four, two, four, three, four, and four, four or from Kenyavi National Parks then in Russia. If we will have then a, a, a quick look at the amounts of the native goats, then in Finland there is about 6,500. The Estonian landrace goats, we have no number on, so we don't know how much there are. I assume that there are less than 300. So there are not so many of them left. Um, in Norway, they had two, this Norwegian milking goat, goat, and of them there are a lot, more than 30,000. And then more endangered and rare is the coastal goat with only 150 females. 
The number of goats in Russia is unknown. In Kenya, I uh, estimated the amount of goats to be 150 females. And that was in 2012. The Swedish uh, goats, Jöing, Jemt and Lapish goat, uh, there are um, 472 of Jöing, a little bit more than 500 of Jemt goat and Lapish goat 383. And you can also see the number of herds, there is then between 62 and 100 of each of these different types of goats. So as there is a lot of uh, goats in Norway, there is also a lot of different goat milk uh, and cheese products in Norway. Whereas in Finland it's more rare, the goats are mostly on the western parts, in the western parts of Finland. But uh, there are some goats farms that also are producing uh, different products made out of goat milk in Finland, but it's not that easy to get goat milk products in, in Finnish shops as is it, it is in Norway.